This is my best friend Dan, and today I'm gonna attempt to design 100 LEGO creations in 24 hours, and if I fail, I will murder Dan and drop this 5,000 piece LEGO house I spent two weeks designing for him. The only issue is, I don't know what I'm gonna build, I only have 24 hours to do this, I have school tomorrow, but anyways, the battle plan is simple, make a list of as many small knickknacks, everyday objects, and whatever my brain can think of, and then transform into a LEGO designer and build my ideas with the hopes of coming out with 100. It's now 5pm, so we have until 5pm tomorrow, let's begin. The first mini set I designed is my go-to method of transportation, the shopping cart. Not only can you store all of your precious belongings, but it works as a homemade roller coaster. This is literally me as a child. <laughs> Speaking of child, here's the cat that scratched me in the face when I was two. The next thing I decided to build was a minifigure T posing. I'm, j I'm just kidding, it's a, it's a scarecrow. We gotta defend the crops. The fourth creation was a plant so that we can breathe, and the fifth is an uncooked Chick fil A. Next, I built a mini Tesla Cybertruck, you know the one that got hit by a rock? It's about drive, it's about power. We then I took a banger photo and tweeted it to the elongated muskrat himself. And speaking of cars, this next design is from the best Pixar series ever, Toy Story. I tried designing a mini Lightning McQueen, but unlike Lightning McQueen, I took a fat L and it turned Turned out looking pretty bad. And for the 8th build, I dumped a bunch of basic bricks and stacked them in a weird formation to form this unbreakable LEGO prison. And I threw in Ron Weasley and Harry Potter to give each other company and be locked up. Then I found these pieces. What could I build with these? I came up with some ideas, another prison, a skyscraper, a banana, but I eventually settled on building a table because that's where I found the pieces. And here's the table with two best friends having a conference. The only issue is anything put on this table falls right through. For the 10th build, I designed a sunflower and put Spider-Man next to it. The 11th thing I built was a toilet with a handle to flush. I have not pooped in 98 hours. The 12th thing I built was a plunger plus a toilet roll. The 13th thing I built was a urinal that someone pooped in. If this scares you, do not ever enter a high school bathroom. The 14th thing was a sink to wash the dirty hands, and the 15th item was a shower to be clean like Mr. Clean, my idol. We got all the bathroom essentials, so now let's design some school essentials because I have first period math in T-9 hours. Here's a pencil I built by stacking decapitated minifigure heads, an eraser to erase all our mistakes, my parents two seconds after I was born be like, a pen if you're feeling gutsy and aren't gonna make a mistake, a graded test sheet inspired after my math final, the teacher after a substitute writes us a bad note, there are so many stories, a locker, do people even still use lockers or are those just in movies, the boys locker room, nope, can't show that I don't want to be deplatformed. A school desk plus uncomfortable chair that I still managed to sleep in. A whiteboard that I designed to stand, just like me when I poop. A glue stick that's built like a square because I'm broke on round pieces. And a calculator I designed using an illegal technique for the keys. That was literally 10 builds related to school. How sad is my life? Okay, next, I interrogated you guys on what you want to see me build on Instagram, and you guys left thousands of responses, so here we go. The first guy suggested to build a basketball hoop or a hot tub, but since first is the worst, I only built the hot tub. I made it with a wooden outline, kind of like if it was outdoors where all the animals could join you. Then someone said to build a dragon, which can only mean one thing. Dragon City is sponsoring this video. As a kid during Halloween, I was a dog, a ninja, Darth Vader, I think I was an avocado once, but never a dragon. What I've always wanted to be. And now, if they see a 16-year-old, 6'7", beast of a man, dressed up as a dragon, banging on their door for sugary treats, they'd probably faint. But in Dragon City, you can be a dragon and be accepted in society. In fact, you can collect over a thousand dragons to build an empire while you grow food, earn gold, find gems, and even breed dragons to create new species that can hatch and evolve. Then you can train these dragons, teach them new moves, make them extremely powerful, just like me after eating all my Halloween candy in one night, and you can also squad up with the boys in an alliance and work together to unlock awards, as well as complete weekly mini games for daily prizes, and if you get a divine pass, you can earn even more rewards. And Dragon City has just partnered with The Walking Dead, and some of your favorite characters from the show, including Negan, Maggie, Rick, Carol, Daryl, and Michonne, are coming alive in Dragon City. To collect all these exclusive Walking Dead dragons, download Dragon City by clicking the link in the description, or scan the QR code and grab a free starter pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic zombie nature dragon. Back to the video. This guy suggested building a tower, and this guy suggested building Minecraft. So I combined the two and suggested building a Minecraft tower, and then actually made it. This is insanely tall. But Stephen fell off, died, and exposed his inventory. This guy suggested mini golf, so I made a course with a chicken head in the middle, but since I don't own the actual Lego golf club piece, I designed my own exquisite club using a bar and a clip. Someone said to build these nuts. I'm allergic to nuts, but I still built one with eyes. If those were my eyes, they would probably fall off and disintegrate. This next guy said a modern house, been there done that, but this next guy suggested a bird, and I haven't done that, so meet Mr. Bird. Fun fact, I literally used a leaf stem piece on his head to represent hair. Then I made a lava lamp using cones, it looks pretty hot and bubbly. Chicken McNugget, who I brought to life and named Burger King. I've only had good experiences eating molded plastic, even when they have eyes. A toothbrush, which will be great to brush off the McNugget. The guys who suggested these are probably best friends. But now, let's test out the toothbrush. Testing time. Fat, juicy glob, look at that. 
That might be a little bit too much. Cheers. Mm, oh, oh, that is mm, oh. Okay, I kind of sound like I'm in the middle of a toe massage, so here's a summary of what happened. The Lego brush worked perfectly normal for the first 15 seconds, pretty much the same as the scissors I use normally to brush. But then it broke. Oh, well, well. To avoid choking on plastic for the seventh time, I extracted the brush from my mouth. This kind of happened. Washed it all up, and now we're here. Don't do this at home. The 36 build is a 5 grand gaming PC for Google Docs. I even included a really long power cord. And to go with that, the 37th build is a gaming chair to sleep in. The 38th build is a desk, and I think you know where I'm going with this. The 39th build was putting them all together, plus three monitors, a mouse, and a keyboard for a gaming setup. If you're a minifigure, this is the dream. And the 40th build is a dancing egg. I used some lever pieces to pose them, and I'm also allergic to eggs. So please dance on the other side of the room. Two people in a row said to build a doghouse and a dog cage, both of whom made me sad about my lack of having a dog, but at least I got this guy, who now has a new home with a red roof and some windows, the perfect crib for my inanimate object of a pet, and I named him Dan the second after my best friend who might die in 16 hours. Speaking of dogs and sadness, Peter underscore wants underscore a underscore puppy said to build an Among Us character, and only because his username hits me very close to home, I went with it and made a black crewmate. Hot Dog Man Stand said to build the back rooms, I don't know what that is, but I like his username so I designed a hot dog stand. It even has wheels, it can run around, it has ketchup, mustard, everything. We have been building so much stuff. Then I challenged myself to only use this kind of piece and ended up stacking them and designing this very weird zigzagged shape. No one actually asked for this. But something everyone asked for was to make Vector from Despicable Me. The Lord, the Savior, the Dancer, here he is. I know it's just a minifigure and not an actual set, but it's Vector so it doesn't matter. He has the orange drip, the hair, the glasses, and the shrink gun. Next, food was on my mind since I just ate dinner, so I built a chicken sandwich to go along with the chicken nugget we made earlier. This makes me want to eat Chick-fil-A every day and three times on Sundays. It hits different on Sunday. But then I made a massive mega diet diabetes burger. Look how tall this is. It literally has everything. Makes this fully grown, semi-attractive man look like a child. For the 47th thing, I built a superhero themed bed. Because it is 2am, we started this at 5, and it is time for me to sleep and pick up this challenge after school tomorrow. Or so I thought, because during my nighttime sleepwalk, I built two more creations. A sushi roll, because I had a nightmare about a spicy tuna roll, and chopsticks to actually eat the roll. Let's test them out. Okay, test number one, this Lego brick right here. We got it, we got it. Then I tried grabbing the sushi roll, but broke the sushi on the first try and broke the Bruh. chopsticks on the second. Okay, after I got home from school, I started speed running. It is now 3.30, meaning we only have two hours left to build 50 more things, so we're gonna have to go Sonic mode. The first thing I built was a rack of garden supplies for a minifigure to use, then I built a thick sandwich to munch on, and then I built you, a fan. Here's my address if you want to dislocate my neck. Then I built another version of you, a goat. I've since moved, here's my new address. <laughs> That was me, I made that sound. A ton of you guys said to build a gym, so I made this room where we're gonna design multiple gym equipment builds to form an ultimate gain city. And at school today, I found the most ripped 6'7 guy and gave him my phone to take reference photos. The phone never left my hand. The first piece of equipment I designed is a treadmill, then I built a deadlift bar with Emmett hitting a max, a dumbbell rack that uses wheels as dumbbells, and a pull-up bar that a minifigure can actually hook up with. And since a lot of you asked me to build something from Cobra Kai, I built a punching bag with the best character, Johnny Lawrence, training himself to kick random civilians in the you-know-what. And there's the completed gym. If you want to go from a normal, ordinary minifigure to a jacked big figure, this is the place to go. And for the 60th creation, I built this square that transforms into a rectangle that transforms into a triangle thanks to a butt ton of these hinge pieces connected together in a link. And they also form the Illuminati. For the next build, I decided to design a Mario Kart, specifically the one from Mario Kart Wii, the game we all played with our wheels, and is the underlying reason of modern day car crashes. After building this awesome design, I decided to test it out on hard mode 200cc. On your marks, get set, fly. All the way to there, not bad. Not bad? That was insane! I have never went that far without Cloudman saving me, so to nerf the cart design, I designed a blue shell as the next build. Now let's test it out. Okay, no more racing around because we are extremely low on time, so let's see if there's any hope at all that we can get to 100 builds. It's time for the ultimate speed run. Here's a Lego top I designed that can actually spin and even knock out a minifigure. Here's a speaker to play some amazing tunes. It's Here's a specialized blaster that'll hopefully help stormtroopers with their aim issue. Here's a big apple. Here's a Mac made by Apple. Here's a Nintendo Wii. Here's a duck auditioning for Stranger Things. A really cool rug design is build number 69. I'm not ending here. Here's a jug of milk that the dads were supposed to bring home. Here's a boombox to bump even more amazing tunes. Hey, 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 ice on my necklace. 
Thomas I Here's the cube with stuts on all sides, aka pain from all angles. If Dan truly is about to die, here's my new friend, Mr. Brick Separator. I was watching Star Wars the other day, so here's a mini TIE Fighter, pew pew. But no matter how many tiny builds I could make, it didn't matter. From 24 hours to now, many hours building, and many hours running out of pieces and searching for pieces, and this extremely messy infinite war zone of a room. No joke, 22 out of the 24 hours, this is me. This is literally me. All added up, resulting in us succeeding in the pursuit of defeat. When the clock hit 24 hours, we came through with only 74 builds, therefore failing the challenge, just like my math test. And I had to do what had to be done. I decided to put an end to the massive mansion first to put off the death of Dan. Two weeks of building, 5,000 pieces, no sleep, and now it will die. Goodbye! An even bigger mess was made, I literally have to hopscotch through here to even walk, but now it's time for Dan. I grabbed the weapon of choice, Skizzer! Found the most sacred place I know. Hello, do you want to go for a walk? And divorced his head from his body, and his soul from our hearts. Oh yeah, and thank you to Dragon City once again for sponsoring this video. Check them out, link down below, and claim your awards.